Welcome to this edition of 5 Minute Bays. I'm here to uh, help me is Sam Weiss, who will check that I am not making any mistakes. The question I would like to address is uh, how many participants might I need in the study? What would be the Bayesian way of answering that question? So imagine there's a previous study shown here where patients scored at 28 in some variable. Controls performed at 60, so there's a difference of 32. And then, amazingly, some treatment has been developed that may help the patients, and the researchers are agreed that the most the treatment could do is make the patients normal. So we have uh, two groups of patients, one will be treated and one un untreated. And the question is, how many participants should we use uh, to get a sensitive result. So some information we have from the first studies, we know the standard error of the difference in the first study and the number of subjects per group. Now because there was a difference of 32 here, and that's the maximum we could expect, one way of representing the alternative is as a uniform where the population difference between the treated and non-treated groups could go anywhere from zero to the maximum, which in this case we can estimate as 32. So now, if the null hypothesis is true, the most likely sample difference, mean difference, we'll get is zero. So what we'll do on the base factor calculator is set the sample mean to zero. You're quite right, Samwise. I entered it in the wrong box. So you have to remember the sample mean box is the second one here. That's why I'm going to put the zero. Now we need to know, uh, have an estimate of the sample standard error. In the previous study, the sample error, the standard error was 10 for an N of 40. Now, the only thing we need to know is the standard error varies as the square root of n. So let's say we use 10 subjects. We've reduced the n by a factor of 4, so the standard error will increase by a factor of square root 4 or 2. So if we use 10 subjects in each group, the standard error would be 2 times 10 or 20. It would have increased because we've used fewer subjects. Now I'm going to say yes to uniform into zero, and 32 was the maximum, click go, and the base factor is 0.7. So even in this relatively ideal scenario, we get a sample mean of zero, the base factor would tell us the outcome was insensitive. So 10 subjects in the group is not likely to be enough to get a sensitive result. So what if we use 60 subjects? Then we've increased the n by a factor of 60 over 40. So the standard error will decrease by a factor of square root 4 over 6, 0.82. So we can times the standard error by 0.82 and we get uh, 8.2. So if we now enter 8.2 in the box, click go. The base factor is 0.32, which is just sensitive. So that tells us that 60 subjects is a good number, a good estimate for uh, sensitivity. Now, the other thing we can do is say, well, what about if the alternative is true? Well, the expected value then is um, of the sample mean is 16 because we have a uniform from 0 to 32. So if I enter 16 for the sample mean and click go, the base factor is 4, which is just more than 3, so that's sensitive as well. So 60 seems a good number. Now, I think to bear in mind is 60 is just an estimate. We're not bound to run 60, because all the information uh, is contained in the base factor about how sensitive the study is and how strong the evidence is. So we can we can and should, if we're able to, run until the base factor is greater than three or else less than a third. But if we wanted an idea of the sort of subjects that might be required, it's probably something around 60.